in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. You never, the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of God and hold the hands of the blessing. He will say, choose one. Hold the blessing and leave God or hold God and leave the blessing. The miracle service says you can hold both. That's why we're here tonight. Yes, sir. That you can say, I can still serve God and pay my sibling school fees because of the blessing of the Lord. I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm, yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon. You see that? Listen, you are here tonight. I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for. We are not here to waste our time. We are here to stand in agreement with God. I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives. Choose between raising a godly family or not getting married. Choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor. Hello? Choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician. Anything that you can use to give God glory is what Satan is looking for. He will find you. He will haunt you. And if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom, he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life. And listen, the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto God, he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage not you if you have headache that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest satan is too wicked to just give you a headache satan wants to program something you heard that dear lady cancer in um the grandmother just like fate can be transferred so you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35, 36 and all of a sudden she's feeling, what is this? Ah, mama died of cancer. Now I'm having cancer. Tomorrow another person has cancer. Those people don't need healing. They need deliverance. It looks like it's healing. Ask Jesus, woman, thou art loose first. When you are loose, then he laid hands on her. He said, now you, your body can participate. But the real thing is the bondage in the spirit. Are we together now? Yes. Anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering, you need to stand for them today. Oh. If you are the only one having it, it may just be your not understanding, your this and that, but provided you are not the only one. No. Your grandmother was raped by a stupid man. Your mother was raped by a stupid man. You, you were raped by a stupid man. Must you wait until your daughter is raped? You stand up and say, in the name of Jesus. Someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away. They paid your mother's dowry and ran away. Now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away. You stand and say, Lord, this must end. Look, let me tell you. Nothing changes until men get angry enough to say, Lord, it must stop. Are we together? Yes, it must stop. How about finances? Look at me. There are some of you here, I don't mean to insult you and I don't mean to embarrass you, but let me tell you the truth. 
until God does something to your hand, money will never stay in your hand. I'm not talking about money. You can be as intelligent as whatever. I'm telling you, it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing. Because money, like a human being, has a spirit, a soul, and a body. The spirit of money is mammon or the Holy Spirit. There has to be a controlling factor. The soul of money is the, the, the intellectual system that brings the exchange. The body of money is the physical thing you are holding. So if all you are holding is just the physical thing, you are a joker. There is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you. It's true. So the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the Lord and make sure that everybody remains poor. Can I tell you this? And I don't mean to insult you, but more than 60% of the people seated here, your major prayer point, corporately as a family, is, oh God, let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come. There may be other things, but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be, to be fine. There is an agenda. I've shared with you my vision. I will continue to share it. Years ago, I was praying. I think I was, uh, I can't remember what was happening. And then my, my ceiling just disappeared. I didn't see a building again. And the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature, mighty creature, the eyes as big as the head of a man. And then it was, it looked like a dinosaur, but the tail had its own life, meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence. And it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That was the end. That was when I agreed that prosperity is spiritual. If all you have is a contract, you are joking. If all you have is a shop, well done, but you are in trouble. If all you have is a good business, you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now. Estates and everything just given. No, it's not just a man that gave him. There is a spirit behind it. You need to be empowered to fail. I hope you know that when you are failing consistently, there is an anointing making that happen. An anointing is simply an empowerment. Everybody hates you. You are supposed to bless me. As soon as I come, you hate me. I now go here and I'm too late. It's not normal. When the coincidences are too accurate, there is a spirit making it happen. Someone calls you and says, please come. Let me give you something to pay the rent of your family. The moment that statement happens, the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call. Are you seeing that now? And he leaves the office. You arrive at the office, you find out the door is locked. He says, if the young man comes, just give him 2,000 to go back. It's a lie. The man did not leave. Something happened. There is a spirit behind that operation. How many of you have gone to, to seek people over something that is so simple? Maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks, three weeks. You believe it's normal? And then sometimes a man of God may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there. He was not there. An angel kept him there. This is how this kingdom operates. Your destiny helper, the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you. But because there is no spiritual connection, my brother and my sister, you can stay 15 years. Whereas the person ordained by God to lift you is just two blocks. You will go to America and return back like a thief. You will go to UK and return back like somebody that God hates. But the day God decides to locate you, you will be surprised. Is God speaking to us? That's why we're here tonight. 
You can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body. Probably God has been telling you, look, your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy. But you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years. I will come for koinonia. You will now say next week. You will say, Kai, uh, ah, I'm feeling cold. Let me just relax. As soon as you want to travel, your sister will just say, ah, I just came on break. Let me tell you, all those acting is a lie. But there's something about the will of man. The day you stamp your feet and say today, I name today as my day of breakthrough. The Bible said today if you hear his voice, every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again. It has to be today. Are we together? So tonight, I don't want you to sit down and waste your time. You are hearing people testify. My brothers and my sisters, I tell you by the grace of God, there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can god do this you can't leave lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that god brought you to waste your time no sir no sir i tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go? We are talking God here. We are not talking the, the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital. The God of heaven. Can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children. Those nine people, the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say I've tried ah but there's a song that says Satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the Lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of October will let will let the devil know what is in nigeria he has tasted what is in america what is in russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no, no don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this. This one. Because you see... I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that 
all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed i would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it will be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk ah, i will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous For as long as your life is ordinary, your ministry is ordinary, your business is ordinary, you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain. Let me tell you, God takes away shame from our lives by giving us results. Did you hear what I said? God does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody. He does something in your life and he does it in a way like Julius Berger will build a house and put B. God will do it and put his signature. They'll say, no, this business cannot be human. I hear testimonies of people every time. The things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open oh 
don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen i believe him i may not claim i know everything about him but this god when god decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne god can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money can you move concerning my health can you move concerning my wife and god is saying yes i can i am willing and i'm able and then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move didn't man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together 
the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are 
Continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying, this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I'd like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two. Overflow three, by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. <laughs> just like a train, just passed like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I know overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, 
when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but where will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran i i am I'm, I'm saying this before i pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what god is saying is i'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now Shabalakata. Jesus, let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed, Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed! In the name of Jesus, I command everything that has refused to move in your life. I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. There is an anointing that must shift you. Must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, shift them to their destinies. Please, you will need to help the ushers, whether you are an usher or not, just, just help them. There's only so much you can do. There's no power that keeps you down. This is miracle service. Lift your hands, please. I'm praying. For some of you now, it's the same prayer. But it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now 
I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, 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 speed. Kaparakoto shegeta. I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. No more delay. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road. I stretch my hands right now. I move people. God is moving people here. I decree it. I declare. I decree. I declare. I decree. I declare. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It must work for you. I shift you. No more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now, the Lord is shifting you. That lady, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Spirit take away delay from your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus. now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. Yes. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you. And the Lord is saying that he's shifting things. I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let that chain be broken. Let that chain. I command that devil. I'm seeing a snake in the spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. Harakatos shegepeketos. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. I want to pray a very serious prayer now. He said, Behold, I give you authority over snakes and scorpions. If you don't like the prayer and pray, no problem. But I want to pray a dangerous prayer. I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing. Over families. Now, let me tell you this. Reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. 
as I'm walking here in the name of Jesus I command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now I declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost as soon as I come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as I come close to you as soon as I come close to you that fire there is a judgment let them go now I'm coming this way right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming this area this direction let them go now release them I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost let them go now let them go now release them I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of Jesus let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I stretch my hands here right now the fire of God is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of Jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands God is about to set you free please I like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika Eketo Satarikata Embreketo Sheketa Akato Shekriaka Manta Brekotos Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors I'm only going to pass here right there as soon as I come close to you except God is not God if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in Jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now I command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now, release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen, I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you, please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree, and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. 
listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as i entered i'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout jesus one two three every power bring them out every yoke every force every operation of darkness bring them out i'm seeing chains on people's feet chains 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 be broken now 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 chains be broken now hallelujah bring them out overflow three lift your hands i'm still praying listen i'm seeing i'm seeing patterns something that is not just happening to you alone happening to your father your mother as soon as i pray now i'm seeing fire all over this place anyone under that case you must be free now at the count of three anyone holding any pattern any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out that devil must let you go today my god look at what god is doing in overflow three look at what god is doing in this place hallelujah listen to me the lord is showing me i'm coming back but i don't know why god is 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 on the case of overflow three the lord is showing me some of you i'm seeing you are climbing a ladder but that ladder breaks down and brings you down you see things as if it's supposed to happen but a force draws you back the moment someone wants to lift you you will have a dream in the night and in that in that dream someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen right now at the count of three shout jesus i command those devils one two three let them go now let them go now total emancipation hallelujah now now all those who are under the anointing here outside i pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and i'm standing in the spirit i've not started impartation yet but the lord is showing me the number 12 and the lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing lord where are they Shakatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos kateketa. Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. 
the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break the force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. 
just lift your hands you don't need to say anything father i stand as one sent those keys are locating families and locating people it may be a key that explains why things have not been working lord from the front to the back like a mighty wind whoever must receive that key receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of jesus christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release you. My dear, hold my hands to you. I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally, in the name of Jesus, emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste that time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy All of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree
I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now. I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from Ben you are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you. Come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What did you do, my friend? You are a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives walk by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here. 
that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back. See, wickedness is real. Oh. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, wickedness is real. Huh? This is a young, beautiful lady. You see her standing, but you now look at it. Do you know? Let me explain something. Whatever overflow, just listen. I want to explain something. You see, this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes. I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman. And if my word base is not sound and balanced, I will, I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch. You see the mistake we make? That we call people and then assuming now they are married, I will now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh. You, do you know what it means to be a witch? So uh, God is, you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful. Because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help. But it doesn't mean, imagine that I look at this lady now and say, my dear, you're a witch. No. This is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it, beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here. You find out for instance. The moment you enter a relationship. Come for instance. As you mean I enter a relationship with this lady. And you find out that there may be something wrong in her life. And it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business. But just because I married this lady. I start going down. And now you meet a man of God. And if, the man, if you are in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, Oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation. And then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bringing, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father Hold it with both of your hands. I decree and declare. Ah. Halushiaka prahasku de bakatuskia. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State, now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus, madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Hi. This is your first time coming? I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? You are jobless, ma. Huh? I'm looking at you. 
and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ I open that closed door now I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest. I served, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus name, say it in Jesus name, my life is about to change. Say it again, say in Jesus name, reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus name, sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god our father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing, your healing power. Now, oh dear, our time is gone. This is, sometimes I honestly wish that this, this because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said 
you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction i take away distraction I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja yes, i'm here with my husband husband yeah. where are you sir let's clap for the husband two of you came from abuja Last time you came with for som came. i can't remember you came with you oh your son was a graduate of som no we came with him oh okay so graduate. i want to pray what do you do sir um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business boys. So Sir, I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, oh, oh. I want to pray for you ah. madam I'm looking at you you're a nice woman but I'm seeing you carrying a load huh I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head and if I don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you I want to pray for you where are you coming from are you new here uh, by Elsa by Elsa hmm. all the way I think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor you're a pastor you are in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio, I have a live radio, I do my evangelical on radio and then... Oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. 
you are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight. Overnight. Evangelist, my hold my hands. Father, this is a dear woman of God. All the way from Bielsa. I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And I declare fresh anointing. Fresh dimensions in the spirit. And I pray, Madam, the Lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers i'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back this thing i'm seeing is going to be a powerful program there is a program in abuja that looks like what you would do it's called when women pray i'm seeing that same kind of grace on you that you are going back to bielsa and god is giving you uncommon grace for women in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now madam my God will honor you ah! in the name of Jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir I'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but I'm um, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do what else do you do I manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick The name of jesus be healed from it now i command that devil that virus go now in the name of jesus you go and write your test bring back your results it's gone listen i can we you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing god wants to heal Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that 
um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it 
I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, make your way. Some of you, you get up under the anointing, you find out that the pain. There's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding. Go and check yourself. The bleeding is gone. Gone completely. And I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest. It's just lifted. Gone like that. Please check yourself very quickly and come. We may not take all the testimonies, but at least let's take a few. While we are doing that, let me have all the prayer requests very quickly. God bless you. Check yourself quickly. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? The Lord is touching people. Show them where to come. Look at, look at God touching people already. Please make your way. Make your way. The power of God has touched you. Those outside, overflow one, overflow two. Clear the way for them. Just come. You can stand on the queue there. And let's have one or two testimonies. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles here? Yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on. Hold on. Just a moment. Please. All. Make sure if, if, if your prayer request has not been collected. Please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily. How long, my dear? Since last month. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Back pain gone forever. Heaviness in the chest disappeared. How long, my dear? Just when you came here. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Um, I'm seeing someone. You had something like a, a growth around your neck. Check it now. You'll be surprised to find out it's gone. Gone completely. Gone completely. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Which of them? Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Ulcer. You mentioned ulcer. ulcer. How long? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State. Yes, sir. That's where you are from? Yes, your state of origin? Um, no, biologically. Biologically, where no, are you from? I'm from each Patal Court. I mean, I'm from State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' also, name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain. Yes. It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. 
in the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow too. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person in the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But to they asked you to ride a horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't <listen>. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing. Eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they will hold her. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spoke unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But the Don't pain is gone. Don't believe that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back. Eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Huh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Amen. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I decree and declare peptic ulcer goes back to hell in the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely yeah. come on koinonia may God forgive you may God you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that God bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slumped like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now it's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Longest How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, as she came for the testimony, the menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them that is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his. Let me study your IRK or what? He was studying something like that. And then all of a sudden, he just, I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago. The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harborless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, 
<laughs> yes the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power and so when he was here and saw power he said ah, there's power here whether it's demonic power or god's power there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ God bless witness you. was still when we take the last person that would be also that we can yes, in please. overflow three witness overflow three. for the pain so as you went outside and you minister ah, she fell under god the power visited of god. overflow three today oh this miracle service was for overflow three as she fell under the bar she stood up perfectly whole. completely it's gone in the name of jesus it never returns to you again yes please go ahead she said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine but and as you prayed come my dear in the name of jesus christ it goes second her body is even hot you can see that her body is ill cough she, but everything is in the name of jesus christ it goes forever next person okay. please he's had um back pain for a while during the seven days fasting program yes he was healed but yesterday the symptoms came back but right now he has been permanently what, what was the issue sir back pain back pain come you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is, is that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost forever healed forever perfected and the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in jesus now, name now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it her sister has it and then she's also seeing the symptoms but tonight when the case was mentioned she was completely healed you see this, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister it. has it. Yes. Aunties. Huh? Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands is... in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful. Okay. She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus stand. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still. He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as he mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch, I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ 
I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Father in the name of Jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray we're laying our hands on this request in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus this is a representation of the faith of your people you are the God that answers prayers I ask oh God that you arise arise in power arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of Jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah I stand upon this request prophetically and I agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only God can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who God has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank God that the request is unto God father we present before you this request and in the name of Jesus I declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said. Therefore, please, I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit. There is a lady you have been seeing You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of Jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of Jesus I'm praying for those people first I command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah I'm praying for someone else I don't know why God is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you I'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire
catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus
anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of jesus christ now i agree with you whether i uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah lord in this month of october i'm now I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i curse the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well 
share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.